<laughs> Let's make some scary lasagna. All right, guys, here's our ingredients for this spooky, scary lasagna. I'm going to be making a veggie lasagna today. If you want to use the meat one, I'll have that link below. Artichoke hearts, red peppers for the eyes, black olives also for the eyes, some tomato basil marinara, some chopped spinach, and there's a cucumber there. We're going to be using that for the teeth. Shredded mozzarella cheese, no-bake lasagna noodles, and then our ricotta cheese. So here's everything as a whole, all of our ingredients for this lasagna. Go ahead and start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees. I'm going to pour some sauce into my dish and spread that around as my base. Once you have your sauce down, we will start layering with our no-bake noodles, placing them right on top of the sauce. Then we will grab our ricotta cheese and we will paint it directly onto our no-bake noodles. Let me know in the comments if you guys like the no-bake no -bake noodles or if you prefer cooking your noodles. Um, this just, just makes it like a whole lot easier not having to cook them, just painting the ricotta right on. And it can get a little bit messy too when you try to paint the ricotta onto the cooked noodles, in my opinion anyway. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start by adding the zucchini and the eggplant. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space in between um, every one because in those spaces, I'm going to be placing my artichokes. So these are canned artichokes. They're so easy to just peel apart and spread all in those open spaces. And then once I am done with um, the artichokes, I'm gonna go ahead and add a layer of the chopped spinach, still frozen in the bag. And that will just fill in all the extra holes. You guys, if you don't like um, veggie lasagna, this, I promise you, tastes so meaty. Add some sauce to the top of this layer, and then go ahead and sprinkle it with some cheese. And then we'll start adding another layer of the lasagna noodles, and then starting all over again. So place the noodles down and then we will start spreading the ricotta again and going through all of the steps. This time around I decided to go ahead and mix it up a little bit and put the spinach down first. Don't mind my spinach hands. <laughs> Totally getting your hands dirty here, but it's okay. Let me know if you make veggie lasagna in the comments and if you use something other than eggplants or anything else that you see that I'm using here. Again, leaving some space for the artichokes that will be going in between. Start adding a little bit more of the sauce right on top. And then add another layer of cheese. And then we'll top it off with um, another layer of the no-bake noodles. Once you have that in place, go ahead and top 
with more of the ricotta cheese and then some more sauce and this is what we'll be using a lot more of our sauce to just go ahead and cover all of the ricotta and in a normal situation you would just top this with cheese and be finished but it's Halloween and we want to make a spooky scary lasagna all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and work on my teeth. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this cucumber in half, and then I'm going to slice it to make um, some sharp looking teeth. I'm gonna do it a few times just so I can um, get the kind of teeth that I'm looking for. Next, I'm gonna be going ahead and slicing my olives. I'm going to be using these for the eyeballs. And again, I'm just gonna cut a few so that I have um, a couple to choose from that I wanna use for the eyeballs. Next, I'm gonna be using the fire roasted chilies to go around the eyes so you get that red concept. I've actually made this in the past for a few years and I've used sauce before. I've used the peppers before. The peppers seem to be a little bit easier but the sauce looks a little bit more realistic. Um, just depends on the look of spooky you are going for. Okay, so now let's build this scary face. I'm gonna go ahead and add the bulk of the cheese to the middle where the face is going to be. I'm gonna be slowly also like digging out spaces where his mouth's gonna go, where his eyes and nose will also be placed. So you'll kind of see me doing that here as I'm adding the cheese and then also spreading apart um, where those eye features will go. Dropping one olive here, one on the other side. And then I'm gonna go ahead and build um, the circle of the eye using two of the sliced fire roasted peppers. I'm gonna add a little bit of sauce right to like where the nose and the mouth are just to give it that more of a dramatic look. And then right where the mouth is and then I'll go ahead and start adding the um, cucumber pieces for his scary teeth. All right guys, here is my scary guy before he goes into the oven and you're gonna bake him for 60 minutes. This is what he came out after. He looks a little goofy more than he does scary. This was the original one. 
And then here you will see a couple that I've also made in the past. This guy was kind of scary. And then you have this one. It was really scary. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Please click the like button and click the bell for notifications. I'll see you next week.